Well, today is another great day. They dropped the beta early once again. So it's now Thursday night rather than Friday, which I'm down with because it meant get to get on and play because I felt lost without it. I felt lost, but as you can tell right now, oh, we've got ourselves a new sniper. I think this is supposed to be the Springfield. It's not called the Springfield. Obviously, it's called, what is it called? The M1903. We're going to go with that because last time I was talking about the pistol and I think I said each number individually and you guys had to go at me. So we're not going to do that. We're going to call it the 1903. And we're also playing the new map in the game, which is Akin? Ah, ah, Akin? Is it one of those words? I don't know, but we'll just call it Akin for now. But this is probably the best map in the game, I think, so far that we've got. But they took out the snowy map. They took out the forest map. So I'm pretty sad about that. But overall, we're uh... Oh, we're in for a good time, I think. We're in for a great time. This guy might push me. Pop him. What about his friend? Pop him as well. I don't know if you can tell though. This new sniper doesn't have aim assist, okay? I'm currently using the mountain division to try and add a little bit of aim assist onto it by holding my breath. That's what I recommend to anyone who's trying to use it, but... Oh my god, I don't know I'm still alive here. Hold up. Team. Ah. What are we doing? There's a grenade. Just trying to stay alive, but... If you use it on any other class and you don't hold your breath, I mean you can't hold your breath without using the mountain class. Mountain Division, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't have aim assist. Why have you done this to us again? Why? Oh, I'm going to burn out. I'm going to burn out. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I've also got the Mortar Strike because they added in... Uh, what did they add in? Five more levels, so I'm level 30 now, but you get this at level 29. But yes, no aim assist on it. And I don't want to, I don't want to start the whole discussion of whether snipers should have aim assist or not. I don't care about that, okay? I don't care about that discussion. Some people love it, some people hate it. If it's in the game, I like it. If it's not in the game, I like it, you know? I don't really care. But you can't do this to us and have one sniper with aim assist and one sniper without because I don't want to change my sensitivity. I'm currently rocking 11-11. I really don't want to put that, you know, down because when you have no aim assist, you want to, you want to put it down a little bit, don't you? You want to put it to... I don't know, maybe 8-8, eight, eight, something like that. That's what I rock on BO3. So it's just, they, they do this. They keep doing this on these new games, man. And it's driving me insane. Like, I think on the beta, I'm hoping this is what they're doing. They're adding aim assist to the, the first one, the Commonwealth. And then they're not having it on the Springfield to kind of figure out if that's the best option. To basically see if all the snipers should have aim assist or all the snipers shouldn't. I'm hoping that is why they have added this gun without aim assist. That is what I'm praying. Because I cannot be having another... RSA where it has aim assist and everything else doesn't or the trek on infinite warfare as fun as that good is to use I just don't want to keep switching the play style switching the sensitivity I just don't want to do that. I want to hold the same sensitivity the whole time and I'm praying The reason they're doing that like I said is to see if they should have aim assist on the snipers or not Let us just pray that that is the reason okay I'm gonna go with that but let me know what you think about the sniper like I said you got to get it to level 20 now You've got to get to level 29 to use it and I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm not going to lie, it's so powerful. I don't think I've hit marked anyone, maybe one person. And I've been using it for like five, six, seven games, something like that. Like, it is a really, really good sniper, really powerful. The scoping transition is cool. The I think the ADS is actually quicker on this gun than it is uh, on the Commonwealth. But, you know, it's just like, once you get used to it, once you get used to the no aim assist, it is going to be, oh, it's going to be freaky. And right now, like I said, I'm using the Mountain Division because I just want a little bit there. You know, like I said, I don't care if I have it or not, but I think because of the other one does, I'm going to try and give myself a tiny bit of aim assist just when I hold my breath. I mean, that's all I can do for now. Uh, I get chased. I just ran into a nade. Oh, shoot that man in the leg. We got a recon played. We call that in. But as you can tell, we're getting the shot down already with it. It is a lot of fun. It is powerful. It is just... Ugh, it feels so great. I don't know what it is. It's just... I think this is a gun I used when I went to Cod Champs. We played the beta there. I'm pretty sure... That is a gun that I use. I'm not 100%. Actually, I'm kind of 100%. Just to compare it with the Commonwealth, like I said, the power is, you know, the power is higher on this gun than it is the Commonwealth. The fire rate, I think, is faster on the Commonwealth than it is the Springfield. I'm not going to call the Springfield the M1903. So that's just a couple of comparisons. I do have rapid fire, but I still think the Commonwealth... Was that a guy? Oh, you can do stuff like that without aim assist. That's, that's the beauty of it. You know, I don't really care if it has it or not. I just want every good... Ha! Ah! To have it or don't have it, you know? I don't want to have in between. Get off me, sir. Oh, my God. So, yeah, in comparison to the Commonwealth, powerful. I think the ADS is faster and, well, it has less bullets. You know, that's uh, that's the only downside. It has five bullets and a seven with extender mags. 
Oh, was I going to get out there alive? And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Just in comparison, but feels great. Feels fantastic. The one-shot kills, consistent one-shot kills is beautiful. Okay, that I can't stress that enough. When you've used the Commonwealth so much and the hit markers are kind of there, kind of consistent, you know, you get a lot of hit markers, even if you aim high. I don't know what it is, but when you've got this gun in your hands, you know, you know you're getting the one-shot, but almost dropped 40 kills there. Didn't get a play of the game. That's a surprise, but I'm trying to show this good off for you. The night it drops, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job. It's very, very good. Just... Decide! Aim assist or not, it's not hard, you know? I'm hoping they're testing it, but it's not hard to decide whether it should or should not. Ooh, okay, here we go. Let's do this. There's a guy in here, team. He's coming out. I can't hit him. Is somebody gonna shoot him? Is he dead? We'll get that guy. I'm pretty sure there was another one there, but I don't know if he's still... He is still there. I was, I was right, but I just want to say something, okay? From the game, from me finishing that other game there, I'd started this one, I just checked Twitter for a second, and FaZe Kitty, you know, my good friend Kitty Cat, I don't know why I said it like that, I'm sorry, that was embarrassing, but he, he just hit a quad to single with the Springfield. Four people with one bullet with the bre with the new sniper. Like, what are you, what is he doing? I haven't even seen it yet, he's uploading it right now, I'll put it in the description, but what... A freak. This man is something else, and I know he's probably going to be super nice with that gun, but what kind of clip is that? The first day you get to use it, probably like 10 games in, he hits a quad, and then he gets a single for the 5 on, and it's play the game. Like, oh my god, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. How am I supposed to top that? How am I supposed to finish my video now knowing that somebody, one of my friends, hit a quad to single with it? Like, I can't compete with that. And this man hit it on Gibraltar. He hit it on Gibraltar. Not even, not even war. I know a lot of people are hitting crazy clips on war. He hit it on Gibraltar. Oh my God, get off me. Gibraltar domination. So as freaky, as, as just insane as a clip can get, this man hit it already. So I'm pretty sad. So I'm now going to somehow top that. I know that guy's all the way hard in me. Hard aiming me there. And there's a guy in the back team. I thought you were going to save me. I thought you were going to save me there. But now I'm going to compose myself. i got to do my own thing here. Try. Try and, you know, get... I don't even know what to do now. I'm lost. All right, well, I guess we'll try and end with a different map then. Follow it up from Gibraltar, from goddamn Kitty, Kitty's quad there. Let's uh, let's try and be inspired and get something going on this map just to end the video off. I don't want to do too much. Like I said, it's it's literally dropped a few hours back now, and I'm just trying to make a video the night of. Just peek a little bit longer. Thank you. So I just thought, we'll, we'll pop out a video. I like to spend a little bit more time on them, but I really want to show you guys the gun and, and get a good feel for it and just talk about it and talk about my opinions on it so far. So like I said, great gun. Just confused at why this one doesn't have aim assist and the others do, you know? Always going to confuse me a little bit. Looks like there's a teammate struggling there. We've got him. We've helped him out. Actually, I think he died. So I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Still alive. Oh, there's a grenade. So we're out of bloodthirsty right now. Uh, I'm gonna die here, right? Need to back up a little bit. There we go. We'll back up. We'll play this smart. Let's get out of there a second. Let's keep this streak alive. Teammate, can I take this spot? I would appreciate this spot. Oh, okay. Oh, you can save me. Okay. Please peek. Thank you. I mean, the good thing about... Uh-oh. The good thing about the no aim assist is you can hit snaps like that where, where you can't really do anything else. Apart from just pull your shot as fast as you can. That's the one thing I don't miss, you know When we didn't have aim assist in Black Ops 3 with the Locust with the SVG I could whip some shots and I loved it It was a great feeling because I don't play max sensitivity and I won't play max sensitivity on this game either That's the only plus side I guess but it's not even a plus It's just the one thing I like about no aim assist sniping, but it's not that I don't like, I like, I'll take no aim assist sniping. I will take that any day. You know, that that's fine with me. But just make sure every sniper doesn't have it. Or every sniper does. Like, that's all I want. It's not too much to ask for, you know. Really is it too much to ask. We'll see what they're doing, though. I Like I said, I hope they just tested it. I really hope they just tested it. And uh, then they'll decide when the full game's out. Nope. <laughs> no, nope, that's not going to work. And I think that might be the best way to end it. But of course, you know, I got play of the game. We're out here. What is it? Three piece? Four piece? Three piece. Okay. That was a nice way to end it. That's going to do it. I hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you all tomorrow.